Cuba is a boxing powerhouse, but women on the island have historically been excluded. That all changed last December when the Cuban Boxing Federation lifted its prohibition and announced the creation of a women's national boxing team. Ed Augustin has the details. Eliani de la Caridad Garcia was over the moon when she heard the news. Lo que hice fue saltar de alegría, abrazar a la niña, abrazar a mi abuela, a la familia, de que ya entonces ella podía hacer una vuelta ahora. This athlete could barely believe the news. Me llamaron por teléfono, me dijeron aprobaron el bolseo y yo dije, ah bueno, porque ya yo como que no sé, como que ya había pasado tanto tiempo y no creía que fuera, porque muchas veces habían dicho que sí. Cuba, known as a boxing powerhouse, finally authorizing women's boxing. The small island nation has punched above its weight at the Olympics. In the men's category, Cuba is the second country with the most gold medals after the US. But since the 1959 Cuban Revolution, the country has dominated the sport at the Games. But though women have been able to box in the Olympics since 2012, Cuban women had been excluded. The island's Boxing Federation citing safety concerns. Querían saber realmente si el bolseo no afectaba a la mujer como para, no sé, para tener hijos. But many in today's team think the ban was patronizing. Claro que era injusto, súper injusto, como ya le decía. Las mujeres tenemos los mismos derechos de los hombres. Incluso hay mujeres albañiles, hay mujeres judoca, taiwandoca, hay mujeres en pesa, en lucha, y por qué no también por si ahora, por supuesto. With the ban lifted last December, the team is finally out of the starting blocks. And last month, taking a silver and two bronzes in the Central American and Caribbean Games held in El Salvador. The goal now, to qualify for next year's Paris Olympics. But given some on the team only put on boxing gloves for the first time last year, just qualifying for the Games will be the fight of their lives. The boxing in another country has started with a base solid. That is, there is no technical fortress para pensar eh, en ese resultado de inmediato. But that won't stop them giving their all. El sueño de todo atleta es llegar a la Olimpiada. Mi sueño es ese. Estar en, en lo más alto del podio. And Augustine reporting. If Cuba sends a team to the Olympics next year, there's a chance they'll have to face down a Mainer. Amelia Moore is a boxer from Oxford County. She was an alternate for Team USA in the 2020 Olympics. Moore has been trained by another boxer from Maine, Joey Gamage, who won World Boxing Championships in the early 90s. Moore is currently training to qualify for the Paris Olympics.